Okay, now, yeah, there's a lot of cases that um, say the same thing, that you have to prove that you have standing before you can foreclose on a mortgage. And that's like the uh, nitty-gritty of this case as far as NationStar is concerned, because uh, to have standing to foreclose on a mortgage, one must be legally entitled to enforce the note on to which it relates. And I'll show you the evidence here, and NationStar did not have standing, did not have any right to foreclose on a mortgage, and they just did their little judicial jujitsu trick to get out of having to go to trial and and trick the court into saying that I had already been heard, which I had not. Okay, so they have to, uh, in order to foreclose on a promissory note, the plaintiff must be the holder in order to be the real party in interest. Nation Star was not the holder, was not the real party in interest, and they just lied about saying that they were. Um, in another case, um, we're talking about uh, later in this presentation, judicial estoppel, and that prevents a party from contradicting its previous inconsistent position when a court has adopted and relied on it. And I'm going to be talking a lot about this because that's what I'm saying is that Nation Star is judicially stopped from claiming that it ever was the note holder or ever was the beneficial owner of the Hanson Deed of Trust or ever was owed a $389,000 debt. And they said many different, they made many different claims and then they rescinded them and changed them and, and everything so that the court didn't even realize they had no evidence. Okay, and another case here, uh, May versus PHH Mortgage Company, a party seeking to foreclose on a note and a mortgage must prove that it has standing to do so. Now, one of Nation Star's tricks is that they didn't try and foreclose on the Hanson Deed of Trust. They never filed or they never recorded a uh, notice of default, which is step one under the Nevada Revised Statute Chapter 107, they have to do that. So this is not a foreclosure case of me saying they tried to foreclose on uh, the Hanson Deed of Trust and they didn't have standing. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they lied to say that they did have standing. And so by using an, an, an abusive process I'll call it a jujitsu, <laughs> jujitsu. They used an HOA foreclosure and the quiet title action after an HOA foreclosure to gain standing that they didn't have. And the reason they did this side deal that I'll be talking about ad nauseum with Jimmy Jack is because I put it in the record that I knew that they could not foreclose on me. And so they had to do everything they could to get me out of the case so they could, um, you know, fake it with Jimmy Jack. Okay, so, but the core issue is still the same as far as did they have standing to even be in this quiet title case? Well, that's the question. Did, were they the note holder? And were they, uh, did they own the beneficial interest of the Hanson uh, deed of trust? I'm saying no, and I'm saying everything in this um, presentation will prove it. So the original lender to Hanson, Gordon Hanson, was uh, Western Thrift and Loan, and that was in 2004. And so in order for NationStar to claim that, that Hanson, after he passed away, um, and it was in default, that somebody, you know, that they could that NationStar could use that property as security and they could foreclose, they would have to show that they had endorsement, that the note that they wasn't made out to them, it was made out to Western Thrift and Loan, that, that the note had been endorsed over to them or it had been assigned to them. Or, and there's an affidavit that, that was on record that showed what their standing was. Okay, further, they had to not only have that stuff, they had to have it at the time the complaint was filed. Now, the complaint was filed in 2015 as far as Jimmy Jack suing Bank of America. 
why the Bank of America and not Nation Star is a mystery. But standing also had to be established by the time Nation Star sued Opportunity Homes in 2016. Why Nation Star sued Opportunity Homes and not Jimmy Jack? That's a mystery. Okay, then they have to have the standing. They have to have standing at the time the complaint was filed. Nation Star did not. Nation Star's first recorded claim was December 1st of 14. So that's important as we go through the evidence. Their only recorded claim before the end of discovery in the prior case was um, December 1st, 2014. And that was three months after the HOA had already foreclosed and extinguished the Hanson Deed of Trust, which is the way it works in Nevada.